Hey guys, so I was commissioned by the Barnwood Crate Company to make a custom rug of their logo. I thought it was a perfect opportunity to show you guys how I go ahead and get letters in my rug as I'm working through. All right, so I'm gonna start this is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start popping in the colors on the interiors of each of these letters. So essentially here, 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 here. I'll go ahead and do the, do the center portion of this just because it's going to make it easier um, along with inner part of here here okay now that i have all the interior spots filled in i'm going to go to the other side grab a pair of scissors and i'm going to trim it all up trimming between the colors really helps keep things nice neat and clean to avoid uh just cross um cross colors of your yarn all right, so it's a little tight back here just because of where my frame set up in my room. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to trim all this up. You got to be very careful. Do not cut your cloth. If you cut your cloth, you're going to cause a hole and that's a whole other issue of trying to patch. Um, generally, if I cut a hole, I'm restarting. So on a rug this size, I really don't want to restart. So I'm just going to take my time and go nice and slow. After you get it all trimmed up, go ahead and start popping in your letters. Now try to stay inside the lines that you drew on your fabric. And it's also important to try and keep your consistency now the that same. Now the actual letters are done, I'm gonna go ahead and back over to the other side and trim it one more time. You guys notice I even went ahead and did the doggy um, because I thought I just might as well knock out all the, the gray while I'm sitting there. All right, so if you actually notice, now I can start to see what the letters actually are. See how they're all nice, neat, and clean inside here, which is great. That's exactly what we're going for. We're going to just trim it up um, and go from there. Now, I've also seen people use their clippers to do this. My hand's starting to hurt from the scissors, so I'm going to try it. Um, it makes me nervous because I don't want to cut the cloth, but there's a lot of letters, so we're going to go for it. huge fan uh that made quick work of that um it's very easy to have a little oopsies so be very careful with these especially this model because these cut through the yarn like water all right i will say it's really important to go ahead and make sure that you're uh when you're doing this <laughs> that your clippers are perpendicular like perfectly perpendicular to your cloth otherwise if you start digging into it like that you're going to cut your cloth but just make sure it's perpendicular um overall huge fan okay done with that Go ahead and start filling in the rest like normal. So I always get asked if this part hurts my back and the answer is yes. I'm six foot four. I can never get my frame sizing right just for me. Uh, me and my wife do this together. So she's five foot 10, I'm six foot four. It's just a weird spot. So when I'm tufting, I'm usually going up and down on my knees working around to make things a little bit easier. All right, overall, I think this turned out really, really well. Um, just remember that this doesn't negate the need for actual trimming your rugs. Um, I do think that trimming between the colors as you're going along makes things come out nice and clean. Um, so you're not really fighting with overlap of colors along the way. Uh, a couple of things, you can do it with scissors or you can do it with your clippers. I, that was kind of the first time I've ever done that and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, just be careful, don't cut your cloth. Thank you.